All right, welcome back. Let's talk about Haxine Waters. Twitter says, in fact, there were no signs of an account compromise after Maxine Waters claimed that her account was hacked. Here's what she tweeted. I have been hacked and my Twitter account has been erased. The California Democrat posted on Twitter to her more than one and a half million followers on Tuesday. I know who has done this and I will take care of this. Does anyone remember something similar to this? I genuinely do not believe I wrote those hateful things because they are completely alien to me. But I can definitely understand, based on things I have tweeted and have written in the past, why some people don't believe me. And there were a lot of other reasons as well why people didn't believe her. She apologized after some stuff surfaced uh, that she didn't like. She claimed her website was hacked and those bigoted anti-LGBT posts that she made, well, they weren't hers. All right, so let's welcome in now former congressional nominee for California's 43rd District, Joe Collins, is also a Navy veteran. Joe, great to have you, and happy birthday to the U.S. Navy. I can't do the math. But <laughs> happy birthday, U.S. Navy. <laughs> it's great to see you again. Um, you know, we've seen this before. What do you think is going on here uh, with, with Maxine Waters and her, her claiming that her Twitter account had been hacked? Is uh, she trying to hide something here? Well, I highly doubt that Maxine Waters' Twitter has been hacked. I think what's happening is, because you know that our redistricting master California is about to come out. I think this is another way for her to uh, try to attack my campaign early. I mean, we got to remember here in South L.A. during the 2020 election cycle, my campaign created over 50,000 new Republicans in this district. And our district was considered to be a, a Democrat stronghold. But things are changing now. And I think that Maxine Waters is scared. I think the rest of the Democrats are scared. And I think what she's trying to do is it starts setting herself up so she could start attacking our campaign. But I'll tell you this, if she want to go ahead and put these tap dancing shoes on, we can get this party started early. So she doesn't really live in the district, though, technically, right? No, she doesn't live in the district. She has a very nice house out in Hancock Park around the corner from the, uh, the, the mayor of Los Angeles County. Our district is in bad shape, but no, she doesn't live here. Yeah, OK. All right. And, um, you know, Joy Reid, we never got to the bottom. We never found out who hacked her account. Do you think we'll ever get the inf answers we are looking for there? Probably not, right? Probably not, probably not, no. Uh, I think Joy Reid, what probably happened was she probably had a little too much to drink one night, and, and her true colors actually uh, showed itself. Oh, okay. All right. Well, we don't have any evidence uh, that we know of that would indicate that, but we'll take your word for it on it. The other thing I want to talk to you about as well is what John Voigt is saying about California Governor Gavin Newsom. Voigt posting a two-part video on Twitter slamming uh, that law that Gavin Newsom signed over the weekend requiring department stores to have gender neutral sections to display toys and child care items. Here is the Academy Award winner. They push the lie, the lie of masks, the lie of shots. Now this lie to show it's OK to be unsure of one's role of femininity or masculinity. I'm for freedom of one's own body, but but keep to one's own, don't show it's okay for our children to convert this to our society. Let's let's stand for our God-given morals. So, Joe, you know, you got to wonder what's going on here. I, look, California has some issues. We know we see the homeless problems. We've seen the wildfires and the need uh, for the forestry. Gavin Newsom even upping the budget by a lot himself to deal with the uh, forestry issue. But you know, gender-neutral aisles in department stores. Is this really going to turn things around in California? Is this a priority? I don't think you support this policy, do you? No, I don't support it, and it's not a priority. I think some of the biggest issues we have to worry about, like you said, is how can we get the homeless people off the streets? How can we lower the cost of living so people can actually be able to afford housing? Um, Gavin Newsom creating a, a gender-neutral aisle for children to be able to explore what he feels is their own gender, in my opinion, is repugnant to the Constitution. Children should not be allowed to explore their gender at such a young age. I don't see how that's going to help them be successful in the future. Children need to focus on academics. They need to focus on their studies and preparing to be successful adults, not worrying about, you know, if they are, if, if they are what they're supposed to be, if they are who they feel they are inside. Right. You still have to be 18 to get a tattoo in California, right? You got to be 18 to get that tattoo. You got to be 21 to smoke cigarettes. You have to be 21 to get a job. And I think we need some ID to vote, too. Yeah. So, you know, it's it's interesting that Gavin Newsom would want to implement this policy, too, where, you know, minor children do not have to tell their parents about the potential of, you know, gender transition or abortions either. 
you know, it's almost as if the government wants to take parents out of the equation altogether. Yeah, I think they do. But you know what? Hopefully people start waking up. I think what Gavin Newsom is doing, I think what uh, Joe Biden is doing, Maxine Waters, Nancy Pelosi is doing is actually waking people up. I mean, they voted for it. So unfortunately, they got to, you know, reap the fruits of, of the votes that they that they did. But, you know, in the future, hopefully people will start waking up and saying, you know what? This isn't the type of leadership we want. This type of government overreach, this debt ceiling, you know, being raised to extraordinary heights is not what we want. We need more conservative principles and ideologies back into our communities. All right, Joe Collins for us from California. Good luck in your contest against Maxine Waters. Talk to you soon, Joe. Thank you, sir.